Hello guys, today we are going to compare two of the flagship phones side by side by side. One of them is Vivo X100 Pro and the second one is Xiaomi 14 Ultra. And we will see which one is better for you. So without any further delay, let's start the video. But before starting the video, if you are here on the channel for the first time, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Let's talk about the display. The Vivo X100 comes with the 6.8 inches LTPO AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and the peak brightness of 3000 nits. It means you are not going to face any problem in low light and even in the sunny day. The screen resolution of the X100 resolves to 60x2800. Vivo X100 has a very reasonable screen in its price range. Now talk about the Xiaomi 14 Ultra screen. The 14 Ultra has a bit smaller screen, which is 6.73 inches, but in my opinion, it's not a big deal. Most of us even never notice this tiny difference. The Ultra also has the same screen technology as X100. The LTPO AMOLED screen with 120 Hz refresh rate and the Ultra also has the peak brightness of 3000 nits with the resolution of 1440x3200 per but there are some features that makes the 14 Ultra screen better than X100. One of them is screen resolution. The X100 has a bit lower resolution and the 14 Ultra has the higher resolution. And the second one is X100 screen supports 1 billion colors, but the 14 Ultra screen supports 68 billion colors and the 14 Ultra supports HDR+, but the X100 didn't. So the screen wise, I think 14 Ultra is a winner. Talking about the processor, the Vivo X100 has MediaTek Dimensity 9300 processor, which is a good processor, which is a 4 nanometer processor. And when it comes to the GPU, the X100 has Immortalis G720 MC12. I am not a big fan of the Dimensity processors, but the Dimensity 9300 is latest and more powerful and more power efficient, and it also supports AI features. Overall, the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 is a good processor. When it comes to the 14 Ultra, it has the flagship and most powerful processor, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 with Adreno 750 GPU. I like Snapdragon more than Dimensity because the Snapdragon is more powerful and more efficient, but not only that, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is an, is an, is an AIE-based processor. And as you all know that the EIE is merging in every single tech-based items in our life. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is also works on the 4 nanometer technology, which is more power efficient. I think once again, the 14 Ultra has more points than X100, but it is my opinion, if you like Dimensity processor, then you could be on X100 side. But if you like to click the moments in your daily life and wants to do heavy tasks on your phone, then in my opinion, you should go for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 because the Snapdragon is best in processing the details in your pics. When it comes to the memory, the X100 is offering the base storage of 256 gigabits. But if you need more storage, you like to save more data on your device, then you can also get 512 to 12 gigabits variant or you can get a complete one terabit there within. The Vivo X100 is offering 12 GB of RAM and you can also get 16 GB of RAM depends upon your usage and working routine. Let's talk about the 14 Ultra. The Ultra is also offering the same base variant of 256 GB and you can also get 512 or one TB variant. The RAM option in 14 Ultra is same as X100 12 GB or 16 GB of RAM. Both phones have no SD card slot, it means you cannot expand the memory in both of them. In the storage section, both phones are exactly same. The X100 comes with the Fun Touch OS 14, which is based on the latest Android 14. The Vivo is offering three years of OS update and four years of security updates, which I think is a negative point for Vivo. 
The 14 Ultra comes with the Xiaomi's latest Hyper OS, which is based on Android 14. When it comes to the update point, the 14 Ultra has a plus point because the Xiaomi offering 4 years of OS update and 5 years of security patches. At this point, I think the 14 Ultra is better than X100, but you are not a long time user of a single phone, then it's not a problem to go with the X100. Battery is a main component in any mobile phone these days because of our busy life routine. We need more power backup and less charging time. We need our phone last at least a complete day. In the battery section, the X100 has 5260 mAh battery, which is a big one. And the X100 supports 120 watt fast charging, which is pretty good. It also supports wireless charging. On the other side, the 14 Ultra has 5300 mAh h big battery but here is a small negative point for the 14 ultra that it supports only 90 watt charging which is lesser than x100 both phones has a good battery backup because both phones have four nanometer processors which are more power efficient and also thanks to the latest android version which optimizes your daily using and charging routine and gives you more power backup Camera is most important thing when it comes to any smartphone. Most of yours buys a phone only because of the camera. The X100 has triple camera setup A50 megapixel wide lens, a 50 megapixel of periscope telephoto lens, and a 50 megapixel of ultra wide lens. If you like to shoot moments, then this phone is good for you because you can shoot up to 8K quality video video with this beast. And if you like to take selfies, then in X100, you will get a 32 megapixel selfie camera, which also supports HDR. On the other side, the 14 Ultra has quad camera setup, 50 megapixel wide angle lens, a 50 megapixel of periscope telephoto lens, a 50 megapixel of telephoto lens, and a 50 megapixel of ultra wide wide lens. The 14 Ultra has more features than X100. You can shoot 8K up to 30 FPS video from the 14 Ultra and it also supports HDR and Dolby Vision which X100 lacks. In this device you also get 32 megapixel selfie camera which supports HDR and 1080p 30 FPS video recording. In the camera section the 14 Ultra has more points because of an extra camera but if you see the overall things the both phones are likely the same. There is no any big difference which makes a device better than the other so guys in my opinion both phones are best in this price range and both are flagship phones some of things are better in the 14 ultra but the overall experience of both phones are likely the same both has the latest chipset both has latest android version both has ai features but what do you think about these two devices or if you have any of them guys let me know in the comment section below and share your thoughts and experience with the device and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more quality content and more comparisons like this one i will catch you in the next one till then bye